Hello and welcome back to my studio. In today's video I want to show you how you can create your artwork faster whether you use graphite, coloured pencils, charcoal or pastel pencils. So let's get started. Tip number one, don't add a background. This little owl was created without any background at all and some studies just don't need any. This cabbage still life has nothing but shadow underneath. Botanical illustrations often draw attention to just the object itself. Leave a background out by using a black surface. Black backgrounds can make your artwork more dramatic and can half the amount of time you need to create each piece this way. Tip number two, create quick backgrounds. Details take time, but if you don't want quite an unfinished look, create simple backgrounds. This also draws the eye to the subject matter. In these drawings, I blurred a bokeh effect using pan pastels, a sponge and a stencil to get the out of focus image. After you have a few colors in your background laid down, place a circle template and apply some pigment to your final layer. Tip number three, try using toned paper. With a toned paper, you already have the mid-tone value, so you have less work to do. Also, this way you can leave part of your artwork to reveal the paper underneath. Tip number four, use pastel pencils. In this toucan, I misplaced the highlight. With pastel pencils, you can correct almost anything and learn as you go because it's so forgiving. Here I just covered up the center of the eye with the dark values and placed the highlight back in the right place and continued on with my drawing. I didn't have to abandon the artwork and start all over again. With pastels, lights are placed right over darks. And tip number five, stop sharpening your pencils so much. This means you don't have to keep stopping every few minutes to get those crazy sharp points. It's not necessary and gives your artwork a more sketchy and looser look if you don't sharpen your pencils quite so much or even so often. It also means that your pencils last a whole lot longer too. Tip number six, try charcoal. Charcoal is so underrated but it's much faster than graphite. It's more forgiving than graphite and less stressful. You can play around with it, get more sketchy, and also take more risks. Tip number seven, discover graphite powder. Most of the body in this cockatiel drawing was created with graphite powder. It covers small and large areas fast and creates a really smooth look that's simple to achieve even if you've never used it before. It's simple to make your own as well. You can watch my video to find out how. It's one of those things that when you discover it, you'll wonder how you ever did without it. Tip number eight, create often. There's just no other way to get better. It's actually better to practice a little bit every day to build muscle memory than twice a week for several hours at a time. Keep practicing even if you don't like the results. I've created tons and tons of stuff I'm not proud of, but it's worth persevering. I promise you, you'll get faster in a lot less time than you think. Tip nine, limit your supplies. Decision making can be time consuming. I chose 17 colors for my iris, but was able to work with just nine. Not having to deliberate made my drawing go so much faster. Tip number 10, try not burnishing. If you're using coloured pencils, don't burnish unless you want super smooth results. Burnishing requires a lot of effort and can take a really long time. Tip 11. Use tools. Use art tools to speed up and improve your artwork. By utilising different tools, you can cover a really large area fast. Here I used a jumbo charcoal block together with a big sponge to get my background in quickly. From different sized sponges, blenders, and by using powders and pigments, you can really save time. I was able to work negatively in this cockatiel drawing and carve out the feathers 
just by using an eraser. And finally, tip number 12, call things complete. The end result of this drawing would have been a lot better if I just stopped earlier. Knowing when to stop is an issue for many artists. Mostly the last hour or more is just overworking. Perfectionism is a difficult habit to break. I'm definitely guilty of it. But remember that we're often not adding to our work. So call it finished early so you can create your next masterpiece. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the notification button to be alerted of new content. See you in the next video.